All right, class. Let's go over the exit ticket we did yesterday. Zoom out, zoom in. All right? We're going to try this one. Step by step, we've got negative 2 plus negative 7 minus 5 plus 23 minus negative 4 equals. First thing we do, got it? All right, we've got our equation up there. Here we go, we start at negative 2. Let's start right here. Negative 2. All right? If we were to add 7, we would just go this way 7, wouldn't we? Positive. But since we're adding a negative, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to go this way. Okay? We're going to go, we're going to, go to the left on the number line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way to negative 9. All right? We're done with this one. We're at negative 9 minus 5 plus 23 minus negative 4 equals. Okay, we've already done this. We came up with negative 9. Now we're going to do what, see what we do, with, do next with negative 5, okay? If we're going to add 5, we'd go this way, but we're subtracting 5. Or we're adding a negative 5. Same thing. Subtracting 5 or adding a negative 5. A negative plus a negative is going to be a bigger negative, okay? So we're going to start at 9 and we're going to add another negative 5. So we're going to go this way even further, okay? We're going to start at negative 9. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to negative 14. Okay? So we've taken care of this. We're at negative 14 now. We're slowly chipping away at this, okay? Now we're going to start at negative 14 and we're going to add 23. What do we, we do with we, when we add on the number line? We go to the right. We're going to count from negative 14 up to 23, okay? Or we're going to count 23 spaces this way. 23 numbers, 23 integers. Negative 14 plus 23. We can either count it on the number line, start here at negative 14, and go back to 0, which would be 14. The absolute value of negative 14 is 14, so we're going 14 this way. Plus another 9, we're going to end up over here. But I want to show you how we're going to do that. All right? So we're going to end up going this way. We're going 23 spaces from negative 14 up to 9 right here. An easy way to do that is figure the absolute value of these. Absolute value of 23 is 23. Absolute value of 14, negative 14 is 14. This one has the bigger absolute value, so you know that these two added together are going to end up making a positive number. Okay? So we can do 23 minus 14 is 9. And we know our, our answer is going to be positive because the absolute value here is greater than the absolute value there. Absolute value of negative 14 is 14. Absolute value of 23 is 23. So now we ended up with 9. Look, at we started at negative 14. We went to the right, 23, positive on the number line. And now we're at positive 9. So now we have 9 minus negative 4 equals. What do we do here? If we had 9 minus 4, we would just come back this way wouldn't we? We would come back all the way to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? But since we're doing the opposite, 9 minus negative 4, we're going to do the opposite. So we're going to add 9 plus 4. We're going to start here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright? Another way to do that, take this away. and do that. It's just as easy, okay? So now we've got an answer of 13. I hope everyone got that.
Okay, we'll try it again in class. So just do it step by step. This equals negative 9. Negative 9 plus minus 5 is going to be negative 14. Negative 14 plus 23 is going to be 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. There's our answer.